All stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. But where do the crescendos come in? Every moment is a teachable moment. Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about crescendos in your story and how you can use the crescendos and swells in your story to really keep a listener engaged. A lot of times we end up going into the booth and if we have a long format narration, we end up just reading sentence, 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 and one sentence after the next. And we don't really see, we don't step back and see how that story actually comes together. We don't see where's the introduction of the story, where is the topic one of the story. Maybe there's a wonderful call to action in the story, and then maybe we talk about another topic. And so we don't really relate those sentences together very well if we just are reading line after line after line. In order to find the crescendos in the story, I want you to step back and I want you to look at the story. Look for the introduction. Look at the first couple of sentences in your paragraph and that should be an introduction to the topic or what it is that you're going to be voicing about. Then I want you to look at the bottom of the copy because the bottom of the copy should be a summary or a recap of everything that you've talked about in the paragraph. If not, then it might be the end of a chapter or the end of a segment or a topic. And so you've got the beginning, you've got the end. Now somewhere in the middle, there's going to be probably a crescendo or a swell in the story where everything, you know, there's a revelation or this is really what we're trying to get at. Here is a call to action for the story. So I want you to look for that. And there might be multiple uh, calls to action. There may be multiple crescendos. When you get to those crescendos, I want you to reel those listeners back in. Okay, how are you going to do that? You need to get their attention. A lot of times you can get their attention by slowing down. You can maybe get softer. You can change your emotion. There's a lot of different things you can do depending on where that crescendo is and what that crescendo actually says because that usually unveils a deeper meaning to the story. So next time you go into the booth and you've got a big long narration to do, I want you to really consider looking for the crescendos, looking for the topic changes, looking for those moments where you can reel those listeners back in. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you wanna see more videos with tips on performance, go ahead and check out my videos here. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.